just got tagged on an Instagram post saying from Pro Try News saying that I've got to start for Singapore, but I haven't actually. I don't actually actually know. But I wonder if it's on the World Triathlon. Hang on, let me have a look. Singapore. Do you think that they would the have the right information or no? Oh no, yeah. fuck! I am on the start list. Really? Yeah. From the World Triathlon start list. No one told me, but. <laughs> so we're going to Singapore. We're going to Singapore. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Hello everyone, welcome to a hotel room at Auckland Airport. We are flying out to Singapore tomorrow morning, actually. And I thought that, well, we actually shot a video on the day that I found out that I was racing Singapore. It was a day in the life training video. We didn't know I'd find out about Singapore that day, but that was about three weeks ago. We're gonna cut to that training video now and yeah, I'll run through it. Let's go. I never doubted it, Carl. <laughs> never doubted it. I was just doubting it because how funny it would be. <laughs> He's in the form of his life and he can't find a race to do. <laughs> yeah, classic. <laughs> I think me and Brayden have been quite, so we've known each other for a long time and we're pretty similar athletes where I guess sort of like normal blokes. <laughs> who do triathlon and so we just love I guess normal stuff like we talked about trailers for half an hour in the video that had to be cut out um, and building and doing stuff other than swim bike and run and so yeah we did a lot of that but then it also makes not super exciting triathlon content that I guess FTP and lactate and sticking thermometers up your ass it's just not that interesting you know he's a bit more try hard than I am, you know? Yeah. Okay. I right. lactate. <laughs> Every day. I reckon this Michelle. first one is going to be very high again. Yeah, I reckon my I lactate so. right now is probably a three. <laughs> Just sitting here. Yeah, me and Brandon have always had a bromance. He saved my ass in 2017 from being homeless in Boulder. Hmm. And I didn't really know him at the time and he... he welcomed me into his home and yeah we've sort of been good friends since then really and yeah he lets me stay as lets me and Kira stay in his caravan when we want to go down to Wanaka. <laughs> we like to indulge in into each other's eyes while we barbecue and get hot and steamy in the sauna training with Brayden and the whole family is incredible. We had a lot of laughs, we had a lot of adventures, we did lots of barbecuing and training and yeah, me and Brayden trained together really well and so it was a really cool vibe. <laughs> That's real nice, eh? I don't like to drink fruity disgusting lady. drinks. I like ladies fruity drinks. Strawberry daiquiri is actually my drink of uh, <coughs> my guilty pleasure, eh? Strawberry daiquiri. Mm. You what? go do drink of choice. Oh, not my drink of choice, but it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> so he did lactate. We put music in. Each of us has a headphone, so we're listening to the Tame Chop Suey playlist, you know, just getting going in the sessions. Yeah, it was a good vibe, even though we trained a lot different to each other and we did different sessions. We often cut sessions and made them work and I'd sit on his wheel while doing efforts or vice versa. Two weeks time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I don't want to be the one that says it, but I think you got a couple more weeks, mate. Oh, <laughs> oh poor Braden. That's what he said to me last time we did the session. <laughs> Sitting in the exact same spot. Yeah, we uh, were sitting in the same Karma spot. Karma is an absolute <laughs> But I ended up winning, so. Really, you know, <laughs> made me feel like shit. Weeks weeks so. yeah. <laughs> uh, we have got different coaches, so he's coached by uh, Ben, but we, my coach and his coach have very similar coaching ethoses, and so some days we worked out, so like an aerobic day, for example, he'd have a long ride, I'd have a long ride, it's pretty simple. Do you quite patriotic today with my uh, New Zealand undies. 
<laughs> That's all I'm gonna run in. They call me Captain Kiwi. Hey, this, uh... One sit down, five more to go. Nice. All right, eh? for the grass track. Good. 66 is and 68 for the 800. Good. Happy days. Another round. Let's get up. How was that? Well, it was good. It got really quite hard the last two because it feels like running in mud because it is bit of a steak pie from the BP to wash down a good day um, I don't understand why pies get such a bad rap really like if I had a steak sandwich with butter on it mm. people would be like wow so healthy but you you just take the same ingredients and put them in a pie unhealthy uh, protein, carbs, fat, and warm. You know, on a cold day, beautiful. Pies. Um, Do you think you'll miss Wanaka? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I think we've both had a good camp. Um, both pretty fit from it so hopefully now we can take that over to Europe and or Singapore Oceanside and put it to good use you know happy days swim programs are exactly the same we both uh, subscribe to JR's philosophy um, and so it works for me it works for Brayden so we both just really got after it in the pool That is six 150s warm up uh, into 1250s one hard one easy 200 easy and then the main set is 24 100s as three by eight by 100 with a 200 recovery in between all hard on 140 and then yeah probably some pull after that get to probably 6k and then get out call it a day. No, just waiting for Brayden to hurry up. Yeah, Stop <laughs> Am I motivated? Yeah. Um, I actually am today because Kyle's not, so <laughs> the first time in two and a half months that I'm more excited to swim in than he, he is, so it's good. <laughs> Thank you. And we're both are the same personality types in that way where we don't really like to just stand around and have conversations and we like to get to the pool, get the work done so that in the afternoon we could go out on the boat or we could go mountain biking or we could go golf, whatever it would be, so we could have fun. both helped each other work harder I guess than maybe we would have if we were just training solo. We gave each other structure mm. where it was sort of like you know we was, we were going to be at the pool at whatever time keeps me in line exactly. <laughs> had a lot of experience racing in the heat too so he just says don't be a <gasps> he likes to make me suffer in the sauna though like he is some kind of sadist and i needed it because i was racing in singapore so we'd be in the sauna most days and he's got a hard and fast sauna protocol where he just gets it up to 90 degrees and just keeps pouring water on the rocks and it hurts but i think 
I got better at it as the time went on. I think I'm better off for it. You okay, who dies first? Probably oh, wow, me. me. <laughs> <laughs> See everybody. I'd say something like, okay, I'm gonna get to half an hour today. Yeah. And he'd be like, oh, okay, cool. And then just keep pouring water on and seeing if I'd tap out. But then he'd pour a load of water on and then be like, all right, I'm getting out. See you later. And then mm. because I've proclaimed that I'm gonna stay in for half an hour, I'd just have to grin and bear it. And often I pushed it a bit too far sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Things are about to get sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, don't know how much longer the camera is going to last, so thank you for watching A Day in the Life of Us Two, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you for a Singapore race vlog. Ciao!